that's coming from? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I thought it was a joke and it went right over my head and I just caught it. Mm, it's brutal. Ooh, it feels bad. Fox also shoots lasers, that's a thing. <laughs> well, okay. So, basically, Hank is a Man Knight Man. I'm a Snake Man. Um, he's playing as Chiba uh, Rob Main. Mark Main. Rob Main, is, you're gonna, as you know. Um, Hank has lost to Chibo in the past. Surprisingly having a decent matchup, obviously, because he's Meta Knight. Yeah. Uh, but he has lost because he plays like poop. <laughs> just, I don't know, he's just dominating and just gets, like, staged stage like, uh, like a laser or something. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, my God. So, All right, well, let's see how this plays yeah. out. Meta Knight versus Rob here on Smashville, just like old times. Yep. Oh, obviously, like Chibo, in low tier, he's got to camp this one out. And Meta Knight has the speed just to close the gap on, like, any other character in the game. Yeah. He's um, going to get a nice neutral air there. Very, very greedy yeah. mock tornado. Very greedy down there as oh, well. Exactly. I, I'm kind of seeing what you're saying. Yeah, he just gets really... He gets a very aggressive Meta Knight. Um, and he's... Like, the only matchup I've ever seen him like play really, really well besides the Snake one is, like, the Pikachu matchup. Right. Really good against that. And he's decent against, decent against Ice Timers, but... I he just likes to be right in Rob's face. So he's good at characters you can just rush down and remove their stuff automatically, which is not Rob. Yeah, he's really good at that. He can play some of the camping games when he needs to, but Rob is a character he just... He just likes to rush down, and he get punished hard sometimes by Rob. You have to be very to careful about what you try and shield grab as well. You know, we saw him get to go for the shield grab there on the neutral air. Wasn't having any of that. Chibo just took a step back, got a nice little down smash there. He's going to get an edge guard here. Oh, nice. he's gonna try. The gyro is going to come down. And as you can see, Hink just having problems with the gyro. He, and from prior matches with other Robs, I, Chibo himself, the gyro is really, really good against him. So but you could actually just take it slow. I mean, he doesn't like to. I mean, as you can tell by the player's style, I mean, everyone knows Meta Knight's no. the best, but right now you're seeing Rob do very good work against against a Meta Knight player because he's just rushing him down. He's not using the correct options. And, and I don't think waiting it out either, but a little bit more patient play is, is going like, to change You things. know what? Maybe not even just that. Just more accurate hitboxes. For example, he whiffed the dash grab there. He could have got a dash attack. It would have covered the entire landing with his long-duration hitbox. Right there, he went for the down air off the stage. He could have got a forward air. So, yeah. you know, just more accuracy can also lead to higher results. If you want to play aggressive, that's fine, but you have to be accurate with your aggression. True, true. You can't just be throwing out random moves and hoping that they connect even right. though they're way out of sync. So Hinkage needs to get a kill on this one. And he's got the he's got the control of the pace of how Rob is recovering right now. There we go, and that's a good kill for for Hinkage. Yeah. I mean, a little surprised right there that Chibo did not go for uh, a landing aerial at the end. Yeah, time. I would assume he would have gone with like a landing neutral air. Or right, something. because yeah, just because I kind of felt the the neutral air coming out from Hinkage. It's like he wants to close up the stock. He's not going to mock tornado you in this spot. You know? And yeah. What else is he going to do? Is he going to up air you? No, nah, not really. He's going to go for the nair. He's, yeah. You're at 151. And you have you have range him, so you might as well go for that. But. Chibo, good job getting on that mock tornado. Yeah, that he was really, really nice. Out. Good block here. And Chibo's going to take himself a down smash, get himself half a gyro charge, try and spritz on some bonus percent with the laser, and dance around Hinkage a little bit more while he's reloading up those projectiles. Hinkage, exactly. meanwhile, going to find his way in. No, not quite. Yeah, Hinkage getting a little too hesitant with that grab. He he wanted to miss out on the sidestep, and Chibo punished him with the down smash. Let's see if he's paying attention to the way Chibo's reacting. See if he can get himself a dash in neutral air, though. Yeah, I think conditioning is really important to aggression. Yeah, and I think he's getting a little frustrated too, and that's why Chibo's getting a little aggressive off stage with those back airs. He's just putting himself out there, putting up a wall back airs, trying to catch Hankage off guard, maybe get a quick kill. Nice bonus points there from Chibo, yep. and then yeah. gonna stuff him very, right there. Very good edge guard. I think he's just trying to slow down the game a little bit, try to gather himself up, see what he's doing wrong. I wonder if that was a good reaction with the down air to stop Chibo's like random offensive aerial attack, or if it was just he was throwing down air anyway. Uh, he likes to do that when he thinks people are pressuring him. I know that. That's what I've noticed. He just kind of like throws out, jumps up real quick because it covers such such a, a large range. Yeah, that's true. It, it generally good to throw out down airs if you're jumping as Meta Knight. Yeah, I mean down air camping is one of the best things in tactics the game. in the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if not the best. All right, both players throwing out uh, who's in the neutral. Right, and very, very impressed right there. Really solid forward smash spacing, and then closes yep. out properly with yep. the forward he gets, air off he, the stage. He gets Rafi X right there. That's that's yeah. how Rafi X dies off with the forward air from that tonight. He's getting a little greedy with those mock tornadoes too. He's just like kind of using them to approach from time to time, and then he's just not landing them safely. Like he's getting punished for using them a lot. If you use them more properly, I, I think he'd be catching Chibo off guard a little bit. This more. gyro had so much mileage. <laughs> I think Chibo wanted to go for a pivot grab there, just didn't connect it. 
we just need to be a little bit more respectful of Rob's moves. Yeah. And Rob's spacing. Like, Rob is a spacing character. He has a big range, and he has uh, meaty moves. And we just yeah. have to be a little bit more respectful of that. Yeah. Nice, nice grab there with the invincibility. But Chivo takes it right back, and there's finally the end of that gyro. Yeah, and, you know what? Hingage is pretty high in percent, so a lot of things can kill him right now. He's a light character. Now, see, I like what Chivo did there. Uh, he, instead of immediately trying to put the gyro back in play, even though it was working out for him, he didn't leave himself open. Yeah. Uh, he went for the forward tilt, made sure he got himself some space, and then threw out the gyro after he connected the forward tilt. Very heads up, and yeah. allowed him to close out that game very cleanly. Yeah, puts a lot of pressure on Hinkage's shield. So, I don't know where Hinkage is going to go on this one. Um, Pokemon Stadium is a favorite as his. I know that. Uh, well, I don't like Smashville. I don't know why they agreed to a game one, although I do feel like Smashville is one of Meta Knight's best stages. One of Rob's biggest weaknesses. I, I, I don't think, it, I guess Rob, I think it's, it benefits Rob more than Meta Knight. Right, exactly. Like, it's not that Meta Knight doesn't get any benefits from it, but it just gives Rob one more tool in a area where he just has so few tools in yeah, the first place. Rob does worse because of the way his projectiles work. I feel like he does worse with stages with more platforms. Right. Um, and I also feel like having the off-stage platform gives Rob uh, more recovery options, whereas Meta Knight is really, really good at edge guarding and just racking up lots of bonus percent. Rob is really super strong when he can start controlling space around him, so racking up the majority of damage on him when you're edge guarding him is really a viable strategy against him. And he goes Snake. Uh, he does use Snake, and I think... He's going Snake because he doesn't know the matchup that night. He doesn't remember it. It's been years since he played it. And he's just going to go with Snake because he can maybe mize the game out. Because maybe Chibo doesn't have the Snake matchup as memorized as Metanite has. Yeah. Also, Snake has a good matchup too. Camp back. And the matchup is still good. A little late on the forward tilt there. That's going to cost him. Yeah. Big cost him. Big. Nice conversion into that up air. Into a second up air. We will trade the grenade here, but Rob's not one of those lightweight characters that's yeah. not afraid to trade. And he does have kill moves too if Chivo can find himself to set up. Yeah, he's gonna be careful when he's recovering because that's usually when Snake gets hurt the most um, in this matchup. The backers are really good. And that's that's oh. a little lucky, he almost gets a kill off that. That would have been quite tragic. Yeah. Oh, that's a good up smash. Not gonna kill him, not high enough percentage. These grenades that he's using are I don't feel like he's using them well. Uh, he's just kind of playing he's around. Them unwell. I mean, grenades so far this match have had something close to a 75%. He's been usually hit rate. using them just to, like to trade. It, even still, like 75% of the grenades have landed, something like that. Yeah, this is a little bit better. We'll cross the stage, kind of like pressuring Chiba to do something. Because Snake does have a better camping game than, than Rob, um, it, versus each other. For for instance, I, I know mean, I know what you mean. Yeah, because like, the matchup in the matchup. Right, the matchup is much better. I mean, the grenades are, cause more issues, and he just. Falls with a down air and just catches him with that last hit. Yeah, that yeah. was a, that, that was very tragic. For Sometimes Chivo. you just throw him out of Snake and it works. Chivo had a, a pretty commanding lead. There were not a lot of moves that kill Rob there. Up till would not have done it. So, <laughs> yeah, off off the stage with down air. That's where he's in a problem. He's got to be careful. He doesn't throw any stupid moves. And, oh. and down air. That's a bad spot for Chivo. It's good punish. Big damage. No neutral air. Very surprising. I think he's gonna watch his shields. He got a little small at some point. And uh -oh. And that's, there's that's a, a buffer there's a neutral that we were looking for. That's a Pat and Mike Ray move. So it looks like he's got to calm down a little bit with Snake, and I think he's camping better. Uh, well, one thing to note is that he did take the lead, which yeah. he previously didn't have based off that down air. Oh, Chivo yeah, exactly. did not take that forward air. That could have been really huge if he actually would have just thrown out the forward air because he would have knocked him off the Cypher. He would have had no... Uh, no second jump, and yeah. Snake would have been in trouble as yeah, Rob could just do a lot. Yeah, I could back air him and even down air him. That's not good. Right. That was a good mortar, and, and Chibo does a good job avoiding it. Good, put, put some good pressure in the air. and just, I, I'm actually favorable with that trade with that. That have tilted a ton of damage plus that grenade. A little greedy of Chibo right there. It, he went to go for the up smash. I think he could have just taken a grab. He was in the center of the stage. His opponent has a lot of block pressure on him. Yep. And you could have just thrown him off the stage and just really disactivate his whole camping regimen. Exactly. But uh, we don't see that. Instead, Chibo loses his stock for it, so... Yeah, that's a very costly error. And that was a good air dodge by Hingish. He was able to land safely. And that's some good damage to it. Snake dash connects. Nice. I like this recovery here. Nice and safe on the center stage. Doubles back. Tries to find something overhead. Doesn't get it. But he does manage to connect the laser. Gets out the gyro. It gets connected. So that's going to be the gyro off the map for just a second. Now the grenades are coming out to play. But the laser snipes Hinkage onto the edge. Both players still vying for center stage. This time, Chibo does make the heads up grab. Yeah, but Hinkage does make a good job. Maybe he do a B reversal right now. Kind of switch up some of his options. Because right now, I feel like Chibo should be reading where he's falling. Because he's picking the same air dodge uh, option every single time he yeah. tries to land. That's some good. He's got, ooh. Could have done a hop. And then hit him with like a neutral or something. 
Even though getting a little flustered by that laser, will eat a full neutral air here. That's it, two stock yeah, coming up from two stock. Yeah. He got a little bit of footing with Snake, and uh, I guess that was all it was. Yeah. I think uh, Chibo kind of lost his patience a little there in the end set. Yeah, well, once Snake the takes a lead like that, it, you, just, you have so much pressure that he has to die. I do think uh, it's possible to claw your way back into oh, it no. versus Snake because Absolutely. Uh, one thing you mentioned earlier, you said Snake has a superior camping game, which I do agree with. However, I do also feel that... Um, you can mess it up a lot. Any character <laughs> camping versus Snake is a very skill-based matchup because grenades are a tool that can also be used back against Snake. Correct. So if you're strong enough in the camping matchup, like you can just outplay your opponent in the camping scenario instead of outplaying them in a footsie. Yeah. And I definitely don't feel like that was happening. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think he is just Snake. Snake's camping game is as um, technically proficient as most other people's camping games. Right. So Three, it's not the most two, possible thing to play one, back against Snakes that aren't as professional. Sure. We're going to have Game 3 back onto Smashville, so same as Game 1. But this time there's no Meta Knight. Nice normals coming out from Hinkage here, but no punish from Rob. There we go. Finally a little something. A little surprised he didn't just wait for an air dodge go for a fair, or just take an immediate read and go for a fair. Either way. That was a good C4 by Hinkage. That was a good placement on the platform. If you're going to place your C4 on anyone on the stage, it's usually on the platform as it moves, and it's harder to track if you're an opponent. Chibo misses punishing that jump on air dodge onto the stage. He tried to find himself a fair, but doesn't quite get it. Does get himself caught out there by that neutral air. And that neutral air is massive damage. Yeah, so the last hits were on 18%. It, like, yeah, something like that. Yeah, together a full hit's 29. So, I mean, yeah, I was thinking 28. 29, there yeah. it is. Down throw. This could be big. Does not get the read. Yeah, and Rob is one of the easiest characters to attack chase as well right. with the down throw. So. Really, really slow wake up up. Yep. Doesn't roll very far either. Nice combo there. And and nice neutral off the Very top. Great control, great control. Yeah, uh, back or nothing, best choice when you use this Rob. As neutral air covers all the options. Entire forward tilt's gonna knock Chibo off the stage. Can Hinkage convert it into anything? Lays a grenade trap, but gives up a lot of the space. And opts not to try and find something else out of it. He's just gonna allow the platform to rescue Chibo and uh, just give him a bunch of space. So he's moved back in now. Chibo still hasn't found his footing back on the stage. He's gonna have to pick up an edge here. And let's see if he's able to uh, manage to land boots on the ground. Not quite. Dash attack does come out. 119 now getting him very close to the percent where up tilt will KO. Probably another 7 or 8%. Exactly. I think he's just playing it safe on the edge. So he's not trying to like get caught up on Chibo's tricks on the edge. I'm a little surprised Hinkage did not go for the grab there. I mean, while the up tilt uh, had a potential to kill, I think just... Putting with the down throw, yeah. yeah. Down throw just, would be really good. The down throw, exactly. Because yeah. you can find the up tilt, you get the percent guaranteed, you open up so many options, so many different things can kill. Like, if he tech rolls to the right, even a forward tilt would probably kill him off the right, side. Right, right, right. So many things, so... We do eventually find that C4 KO. Yeah, I mean, the down throw would have caught him immediately, and then you can find the kill after that. I mean, right. forcing the kill there just gets you punished. But he's hitting hit him with a lot of C4s this game. I think it's the third or fourth one. Yeah. However, the percent of the one C4 is not going to compare to the full up air Massive from Massive damage, yeah. <laughs> Massive damage he's received. Into some very accurate lasers and dry rolls. I definitely don't think he could, should abandon the strategy of camping. I think he should have stuck to his defensive guns in that spot. Yeah. He got a little impatient. You could see he was getting a little flustered that he lost a lead in such a commanding fashion, especially after that up air. And uh, it definitely cost him because Chivo capitalized tremendously on Snake's uh, offensive attempts. Agreed. I mean, he's trying to camp again. He, he, what he tries to do is he's trying to like get his camping game, and then he rushes down. It's still a little bit of that Meta Knight where he's just so used to just rushing down opponents. Right. He can't do so much like that in a matchup like this. Hinkage looking a little flustered. Uh, whiffs a, a short hop neutral there completely. Here's the down throw we were looking for. And this is where and this is big damage here. This time, the shield a little too slow. Still, tons and tons of damage. I mean, what was that? Like 30%. Uh, it's closer to 60. You don't know why? It was like two or three grabs and and two and like four yeah. pummels altogether. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I went from like 30 to like 70. Yeah, not bad. A lot of not, not bad. That each down throw does about 12 damage. Accidentally gets across upside of the F tilt. That's gonna send Chibo right back to the right edge. Looking for an up tilt here. That could be it right there. I really was uh, expecting to just fastball into it and just go for it, but we don't see that. It's tough because Rob can also F air out of that, kind of outspace you. You're getting greedy uh, there. That's so greedy. Takes 21% for it and puts himself opening. Chibo messes up his punish. Oh. He's why really lucky with that trip. Uh, I mean, a little <laughs> bit, but why did he do a regular wake up right on top of the C4? I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the back air works. Biscuits back air, bad back air. It's like, mm, what's the worst case scenario here? I died to any of Snake's moves, including the C4. Maybe yeah. I should roll back. Yeah. I don't know. This is my line of thought. Uh, oh, this is another chance for Hankage. 
He needs to shield that full thing. He's messing that up a little bit. He's trying to get that grab, and he's just not fast enough in response. This is a big point right here. Grenade trade is going to get him out of a tight situation. He's not dead yet. Definitely still anybody's game. Big damage coming out. Nice for Chivo to just jump over that C4. But one thing I'm not... Oh, that's try it. to do that's that down there again. That's it. Yeah, try very greedy. I think he should have just uh, B reverse fast fell back to the left side. Yeah, no B reversals that whole game. Yeah. Not too great with that. And see, I was a little surprised at the end there because I thought Chibo, uh, in going for the guard at the left side of the stage, would throw his gyro over there and then hop over the C4 just to create more pressure on the ground. But it's yeah, I think he just said, it. well, I mean, when Snake's in the air like that, there's only so much he can do, and it's it's tough. Yeah, right, it is with tough. Snake. It's really tough for sure. So, ain't get you down on the first round.